Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. We've got a fellow boater, uh, Torsten, is asking a question. He says, Jeff, I bought a Victron uh, Multi Plus, 12 volt, 3000 watt, 120 volt AC. In your videos, you state clearly, and I do, uh, that you should build uh, or install an inverter uh, with a switch on the DC side to secure the AC in case of necessary work. The handbook or manual, yes, I read it. Smiley face, thank you for doing that. The manuals are intimidating, but they're worth reading. Does not request it. And if I toggle the switch on the inverter to off, there is no loud load on the AC side. What's the reason for a second cutoff switch? Oh God, I love that question. Why, why, why? Indeed. It comes down, in North America, you absolutely need that switch. So Victron is from Europe, so they might have a different standard over there. But let me tell you why they should do it in Europe as well. Um, it's, think about the analogy a little bit about a fuel tank. You can absolutely install a fuel tank and your engine and not have your fuel shutoff uh, valve. You don't need one. And who tells you why you need one, right? It doesn't matter. But if you understand why, then you'll see why it makes sense. A fuel shutoff valve is in case something happens and you want to turn off the fuel to your engine, you have to have a way for not actually like cutting off the line, but actually shutting off fuel to the engine. And your inverter is the same thing. Why trust an inverter remote panel to turn off your inverter? What if that little breaker doesn't actually communicate properly what it's supposed to do? And it's a little bit like shore power. Think about your shore power. Would you, whenever you're working on your boat and you're going to work on the AC panel on your boat or you're going to work on an AC outlet, I ask this all the time in my seminars. I say, you know, what would you do if you're going to work on the AC of your boat? Would you just turn on the breaker, turn off the breaker? You could, right? The breaker is supposed to turn off AC on your boat. But why trust a breaker when you can actually disconnect your boat from shore power? Like, why not take the necessary step to potentially save your life? Because that's what we're talking about. Electrocution at AC at 120 can have pretty serious consequences, right? We're talking about literally lethal consequences. So what I say to boaters, and I'm like, well, okay, so if you're doing that for shore power, you disconnect your shore power whenever you're going to play with your AC system on your boat and you're going to change an outlet. Well, that bar is pretty important, and I don't think you want to do less than that. And so same thing, we were on a boat just recently, and we were going to install a GFCI outlet. And sure enough, what I told the owner, I said, okay, let's go. Here's an example. Let's go turn off the inverter service disconnect. And if you actually see, I'm going to show you on a diagram right here. Uh, it's really, really important to have this inverter service disconnect. And I'm going to even highlight it in red or something right here. This switch allows us as boaters to know for sure that if there's no DC power coming to your inverter charger, there is no way for that inverter charger to create AC. And that's why you absolutely have to install an on-off switch to your inverter so that when you are going to service your AC system, you want to know 100% that that inverter cannot turn on. And the way to do that is by having an on-off service disconnect on the DC side of your inverter charger. And notice here in the diagram, right here, that's your inverter service disconnect. So that's what I recommend you do. Even if the manual says you shouldn't do it or don't need to do it, you definitely want to do it. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.